K-I-L-R Taylor Games Hello gamers, simmers, and pilots, I am the Killer Gamer, and welcome back to the tour around the world, a uh, semi-tour around the world, featuring Sierra Pro Pilot USA, and then some. <laughs> just a tad little bit more than the USA, not much, just a teeny weeny little bit more than the USA, most of it will be the USA. But I don't want to call it the USA Tour because, well, it's not just the USA. <clears throat> there is a little bit of Canada in there. And supposedly there's a Western uh, Europe uh, update somewhere. I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever find it. But if I do, we'll make our way there. Okay, so we are back on our loading screen for Pro ProPilot USA. And we're going to check out another scenic flight. This time it's going to be Washington, D.C. So let's check this Gear out. Clear for takeoff. Gee, what kind of plane are we on in this one? I don't know, but we just flew right past... <laughs> like I saw some of it well, I'm not going to see any of it there so they've got to set up uh, they got to set up on different um, airplanes every time that we come in here <clears throat> We're going to wind up going into the ground here in a moment. There we go. Now we got some more scenery. Let's try not landing. How about that? Oh, okay. We're going to land anyway. Whee! Well, that was close. <laughs> ah! Boom. <laughs> Are we on the... We're on the ground. <laughs> well, do we have anything there? Yes, we do. Alright, we're just... Ooh. That can be annoying. Okay, good. I managed to get into slow mode before <laughs> before that thing came up. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the scenery here cuz trying to fly through it apparently on this this plane is a little little nuts. Okay, so we'll just kind of go down here. Take a look at Washington DC. See what kind of modeling they did. Oh, you know what? Let's, um... There we go. Now we can really see what's going on. Okay. Go right here. We got a building over there. Got the Washington Monument.
<laughs> a church? Then the White House. There's another building right over here. Or actually, this is the White House, isn't it? One of them is like the house. I thought that was the White House. I don't think it is. It might actually be like Congress or something. I know. I like. I live in the USA. You think I should know, right? And what is this? The Lincoln Men Memorial or something? I thought the Lincoln Memorial was like on the other. Like I thought that was it. some other things over here. I think it's just the airport that's over here. Let's get closer to the airport. It's got the runways. No taxiways. That shouldn't be a surprise. We don't have taxiways in this flight simulator. Oh, and there's this building here, whatever that is. Oh, the Pentagon. That's what that is. Yep, that's the Pentagon. So, good aerial view there. And that is Washington, D.C., folks. What kind of plane are we in here? We're in that kind of plane. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get back to our actual flight for this video. Here we are. The sun is on its way down. Uh, very uh, close to what we've been doing on the other flight simulators. Let's go ahead and take a look at the map. This is where we're at. We're at Lansing Municipal. And we're heading here to Chicago Midway, just like the other simulators. Uh, let's see. I thought about doing a flight plan that would go to Howe and then to Chicago Midway. But that just might make it a little bit more complicated for the ATC to direct us around. So let's not do that. We'll just set our flight plan to go to Chicago Midway and then have them... Uh, land us. We make it any more complicated than uh, who knows what they'll do. It could very well not be any fun. So, we'll create our flight plan here. IFR. Let's not make it too high. 2,500 feet. They'll probably take us to like 3, 35,000 or 3,500. Well, that would be way too high. Fill with 35,000. Alright, next. Uh, let's see. What was it? IGC. I, uh, I can never. I can never remember this one. IGQ. And then Midway. Chicago Midway. There we go. Oh, hey, that one airport is not there. Okay, Hal is not on here. I guess we don't have to worry about setting a waypoint. We can make one up. <laughs> but yeah so I guess we're just going to go directly to Midway anyway broken clouds well we'll adjust that when we get there so there is our flight log and we got some cloud cover there we're going to change that coverage 6, 8 no how about 1, 8 how about that well, that looks a little weird back here, doesn't it? 
Looks kind of bizarre. Let's go to Winds Aloft. What is this? 14. What is that garbage? Now we're getting rid of that. Boom! We're all set to go now. Why are we on this runway? Boy, it just set us right... It just set us right on the runway that we need to take off on. We'll just turn this on. Turn our fuel on. Turn on our AV power. Same thing happened on ProPilot. The regular ProPilot. I had ATC set up and nothing happened. Nothing came on. That's interesting. We set the flight plan up. You saw it. But it doesn't seem to want to give us anything. So, that's interesting. We'll go ahead and start it then. Just sounds so wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and set our VOR... Now, oh, 35, I think that should do it. So we'll head on that vector until we get to Chicago Midway. Get another one here. Do page 9. So we're going to hit Alt N so we can get our VOR number 2. And we'll set this to DuPage, which is 108.4. And I want to set this to 10. I have no idea if this is going to work. It doesn't seem like anything's coming on there. Maybe it will when we get closer. Whoa! Well, that wasn't what I wanted to do, but okay. <laughs> I was going to turn on my lights. Instead, I hit the throttle. It went all the way up. Flying right back over Lansing. Interesting. Okay. So it does. It is working. I guess it was just on Unicom, Multicom or something and we wouldn't get anything until we actually got up in the air. That is good to know. That is good to know.
Cessna, 7-2 Lima, fly heading 330. Fly heading 330. Cessna, 7-2 Lima. Cessna, 7-2 Lima, fly to maintain 4,000. Yeah, we're climbing. We're going to take our time. I also think we're going to adjust our sound just a little bit. Turn this down. That should do it. There we go. Not so freaking loud. This part I really hate. I hate this. Are there any options to turn that off? Oh, let's look at the graphics here. Scenery graphics. What do we got here? Got that. Markings, lighting, terrain. Terrain, aircraft, cloud detail. That's max. What if we turn that down? What if we bring it down to here? Well, that didn't do anything, did it? How about we turn it to minimum? Okay. Well, that didn't do anything either. It got rid of the clouds that are that were in that area. So, huh. Okay. Let's go to alternate. Let's click maximum detail. Let's go there. And we're on alternate graphics. But what does that mean, folks? I don't... I don't know. It kind of looks the same to me. So there's that. Let's go back to... See, it's off now. Still looks the same, so I don't know what the alternate graphics are. Oh, hey, look. F2 is tuned in. It's actually working. So we should be getting close to it once this gets to about center. There it is. Just turn that off. Maybe we're supposed to listen to the whole thing. Flight information key load one one six Zulu weather temperature five nine two point five five wind three zero at two altimeter two nine eight seven landing runway four right departing runway four right departures contact ground on one two one point seven arrivals contact approach on one one eight point four advise controller on initial contact you have information key load. Okay. Cessna Niner 572 Lima, expect vectors for approach runway 4, right, squawk 3, 4, 3, 0. Expect vectors for 4, right, squawk 3, 4, 3, 0. Cessna 72 Lima. Okay. 3, 4, 3, 0. Remember, they're first two, second two. You can't Cessna do them individual. Lima. Chicago, there's Megs.
Did I max out our graphics? Um, okay. I guess so. Since I don't see anything in the, uh... The nothing zone. start to see some of the lights down here in the city kind of blinking there's Chicago the better looking version of Chicago compared to the first pro pilot <laughs> The first pro pilot, the graphics, it was kind of like red and white. They looked like it was all made out of, you know, red bricks. Cessna 72 Lima, fly heading 070. Fly heading 070. Cessna 72 Lima. Looks like we might be able to see a little bit of Chicago. Meaning downtown. Compass is in the way, but, uh, you know. the airport there. They've got us in a pattern. You don't have a choice. You can check you can pick left pattern or right pattern. You don't have an option for no pattern. So if we go to airspace, ATC communication, you can see you got full stop touch and go traffic pattern left hand or right hand. You can't select none. I wish it had none. That would be nice. You can change your altitude, which is cool, and you can choose a different runway. So it's got us on four left. So we can change that if we want to, and we can select go around. I think he sneezed. Three, zero. Cessna 72 Lima, climb and maintain 4,000. Climb and maintain 4,000. Cessna 72 Lima. There's Midway. There's Chicago, downtown.
Cessna 72 Lima, contact tower on 118.7. Good day. Contact tower on 118.7. Cessna 72 Lima. Good day. Alright, switch to the column there. Tower Cessna 9 or 5, 7, 2, Lima. Cessna 9 or 5, 7, 2, Lima. Continue approach. Cessna 72 Lima, turn left heading 200. Zero, zero. Turn left heading 200. Zero, zero. Cessna 72 Lima. That's O'Hare up ahead. Gonna slow us down some more here. Cessna nine or seven alpha cleared for the touch and go runway four right. Cessna nine or seven alpha. Archer three three golf cleared to turn left base port four right. Archer three three golf. Cessna seven two Lima fly heading one nine or zero. Fly heading one nine or zero. You hear these other pilots. Cessna 72 Lima, fly heading 180. Fly heading 180. Cessna 72 Lima. I don't seem to see the traffic though. Cessna 7 Alpha, fly runway heading and continue climb. Cessna 9 or 7 Alpha. Cessna 72 Lima, enter left downwind for 4 right. Enter left downwind for 4 right. Cessna 72 Lima. Cessna 72 Lima, turn right heading 230. Turning right to heading 230. Cessna 72 Lima. Cessna 72 Lima, descend and maintain 1700. All right. Cessna 72 Lima, fly heading 260. Fly heading 260. Cessna 72 Lima. Cessna 72 Lima, continue left downwind for 4 right. We'll call base. Continuing left downwind for 4 right. Cessna 72 Lima. So we can see the highways and stuff. Lima. Cessna 9 or 7 Alpha, continue left downwind for 4 right. We'll call base. Cessna 9 or 7 Alpha. So we're going down the 1700. Fly runway heading and continue climb. Archer 33 call. There's the airport. There's my chair. <laughs> Choo 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 This is Flight Simulator, not Train Simulator. Cessna 9 or 7 Alpha, continue left downwind for 4 right, we'll call base. Cessna 9 or 7 Alpha. Cessna 72 Lima, clear to turn left base for 4 right. Cleared left base for 4 right, Cessna 72 Lima. I should get Train Simulator.
Adjusting my trim here. Cessna 72 Lima, fly heading 100. Fly heading 100. Cessna 72 Lima. Archer 33 Golf, continue left downwind for 4 right. We'll call base. Archer 33 Golf. Cessna 72 Lima, turn left heading 050. Turn left heading 050. Cessna 72 Lima. And there is Cessna 7 Alpha. Clear to turn left base for 4 right. Cessna 7 Alpha. Cessna 72 Lima, clear for ILS approach runway 4 right. Cessna 72 Lima. Okay, we're on our way. Archer 33 Golf. Continue left downwind for 4 right. We'll call base. Archer 33 Golf. Minor adjustments here. Nice and easy. Cessna 72 Lima, turn at any intersection and contact ground on 121.7. Good day. Contact ground on 121.7. Cessna 72 Lima. Good day. Cessna 9R7 Alpha. Cleared for the touch and go runway 4 right. Cessna 9R7 Alpha. Archer 33 Golf. Cleared to turn left base for 4 right. Archer 33 Golf. Whoa. <laughs> Hold on. Cessna 9 or 7 Alpha. Fly runway heading and continue climb. Cessna 9 or 7 Alpha. Oh, that'll work. So I was turning auto coordination off. That's what I was doing. To see if maybe I can get this thing to. Taxi on the ground. Let me look at the uh, controls quick reference. So rudder is the period and comma. Okay, we're moving. Oh, oh. Ooh, I think I might have it working. And Alt P is parking. Oh, I might have the taxiing working now. Oh, that'll be sweet. Archer, three, three, golf. Cleared for the touch and go runway four right. Archer three. I think we have to turn auto coordination off in order to uh, taxi on the ground. Oh, I think there is a plane coming in. There he is. Well, boom. <laughs> there he Cessna goes. Nine or seven alpha. Continue left downwind for four right. We'll call base. And switch the ground here. That was not a bad landing. Out of the landings I've done so far, that was probably one of the better ones. Let's see if he contacts ground. Probably not. I'm trying to center the trim. <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs> Finally worked. 
Nope, doesn't look like uh, we're going to be able to contact ground. Sometimes it worked once. It doesn't seem to work this time around, though. So, okay, we'll go ahead and turn everything off. There we go. And everything is off, and we're here at Midway. You know, the more I'm flying this, the more I'm liking it. At least the Pro Pilot USA. So, as far as the alternate uh, flight simulators go, I think I think it's safe to say that. Um, I think it's safe to say that you're going to like. Uh, the Pro Pilot USA. Um, like I've said uh, before, it's it's essentially this. It's essentially Pro Pilot 98. It's just it's patched up. It has the, those those scenic uh, flights on there, and it just runs better. Um, I did make a slight adjustment uh, to the flight INI file which I'll show you here. There's this thing called catch up frames. Now they're saying if you put it at one, it makes the simulator run slow. Uh, zero means just uh, you could just take it out. And you don't have to have this in there. It has to be under your aircraft thing, which is where the trainer 172R would go in order to get this updated um, uh, plane. But they recommend anywhere between five and 5 and 10 for catch-up frames. Um, th this this was good back on old computers that um, if the simulator was running, it's like it would keep going, but your frames would have to catch up or something. Uh, so what I'm trying to do is lower this in hopes that we're not flying in so quickly. I think I'm going to bring bring that to two, and we'll just click save, um, and hopefully that that'll work out better uh, the next time around. But overall, this worked a lot better uh, than what we than what we've experienced uh, in the past, and it, I think we're just getting used to it. Also, so I'm happy. I'm happy with this flight. I, I think it went really well. Um, well, what did you think? Did you like this flight? Uh, did you find it useful? Hey, let me know in the comments and uh, thumbs up. Do a like. Uh, that helps me out, helps the video out, lets everyone, it gets people's attention. Um, that way they're checking out this video also. You never know, there's probably other, you know, pilots and simmers out there that are, you know, would be interested in seeing a video like this. So. Um, the more of you that like it, the more people out there will be able to see it. So help each other out. Um, and speaking of helping each other out, subscribe to the channel. Be a part of the killer community. We're a cool community. Yeah, we're a cool community. So join the community. You'll like it. Uh, and something else you'll like is that notification bell because you'll get notified when another video is uploaded to the channel. And that's a good thing. You're, you're, you want to know that, right? Sure you do. So, <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining me on this flight, and I'll see you on the next one.